Some people are under the impression that you need this elaborate and expensive setup to record gear demonstrations and pedal demos, but you don't. In this video, I'm going to share with you my very budget approach to green screen work and gear demos. What you're looking at right now is something that I kind of invented with the use of duct tape and things that I had laying around to hold my phone up over my table so I can record my demos. The original stand was used to hold a light um, that I bought secondhand. The light stopped working, but I kept the base because it was a very useful tripod for me to tape things together so I can actually record my table. The most important thing when selecting a stand is that you can actually, um, you need to find a way to be able to bend it into a 90 degree angle. The middle part of my stand has a bend and I also duct taped on a very cheap budget um, tripod for a phone that's meant to um, go on a desk or a table. Um, and I did that so I could have two 90 degree angles so I can really get a proper shot of the table. And at the very end, I taped on a Dollarama little phone tripod um, because it provided me with another angle to use. Now you don't need to use an old light stand. You can use a microphone stand or build something else that's similar. Um, you can use your phone to record demos, which is what I do, or you can use an actual, you know, professional camera, like a real camera, but um, you'll have to weigh down your tripod like I did with the chains or else it'll topple over. Um, I like using a phone. I find it very convenient and on the end of my um, makeshift tripod thingy, I just have a very cheap $3 uh, phone holder. Looks kind of ghetto with the duct tape and the chains, but I swear this works so well. There's my cat Jimmy. He's awesome, he's blind, and he's like the biggest supporter of my demo work. This is the green screen that I use. It's basically um, a cardboard poster board thing that I got at a craft store. I paid $8 um, for it. It is very large and it covers my table. You can put a lot of gear on it. It's nice and thick. So it does actually last for a good long while. You can get any color you want. I have several green ones all the time. I have blue and I also use red in case um, the, the petals that I'm demoing clash with the colors of the green screen that I'd like to remove later in the video. These are super awesome. They fit on the table and when you're done with it, um, you can just recycle it and use a new one without spending hundreds of dollars on something. It also has zero glare and it's nice and solid and uh, it's great. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at the light that I use. This light cost me 12 Canadian dollars uh, on Amazon. It's um, small, I think it's about 10 inches and it has a cool warm option on it and also you can dim the light. That's very important because I like the cool light and it also comes with a little stand um, that if you just want to record yourself playing, you can direct the light at yourself. It's surprisingly extremely bright for the price and for what it is. So what I do is I take my light and I further add to my ghetto budget setup by duct taping it to sit around the foam um, holder that you can see here. So where you see my hand, um, I'll actually just put some duct tape on there and that will be not only my tripod, but also my lighting for the green screen work. Duct tape is the most important thing for a budget studio. I use duct tape for a lot of things. Um, I use it to hold up my mics, my lights, my string lights. Like, it is perfect for fixing anything, the duct tape. Now we can see the light duct taped onto the stand. Um, there's a lot of duct tape, but I'm okay with that. Uh, the green screen is on the table. Um, 
The stand is way down. And you can use anything to weigh down your stand. That old chain that I'm using works very, very well. And that's how it looks. So now we're going to look at um, how efficient this cheap little light works in this setup. So the whole goal of green screen is to not get any shadows uh, because then it becomes difficult to pull out the colors so you can, you know, put other types of footage and text and stuff into your um, video. But this $12 light looks works just incredible. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely no shadows and it'll You'll be, you'll be able to take it right out of your video. There's my cat, Jim, again. He's just so adorable. So now this is my focus right. Um, the most important thing for demos or performance videos, I feel, is the sound. So what I'm doing is I'm running um, my audio direct into my um, Zoom multi-tracker, into my personas, and then into my computer. I use my amp to um, have sound in the room. The program I'm using is Audacity. It's freeware, so you can download it absolutely free. And it does everything that all the other audio programs does, and you don't have to pay for it. I've used this program for years, and it has served me well. Um, basically, I take the audio from Audacity, and I splice it on top of the video to take away the crappy phone audio. So for my video editing, I use Pinnacle. Um, it's a very cheap budget program. I paid $60 for it. I'm sure if you want, you can find other ways to get it. Um, the green screen on it, uh, the chroma key work, all that stuff, it's, um, it's great. I've never had a problem. I love the effects on the program. Anyone can use it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of limitations, but um, it has served me well for a number of years of doing video work and demos and stuff. Um, you can use any program you want. Some people will say you need, you know, a $5,000 computer. I have a budget crap computer that I do my work on. Um, I do want to upgrade, but um, I just can't at this time. But honestly, it has not, you know, been any sort of an obstacle for me to get my creative visions out there. Um, so that's about it for this video. Uh, what you're seeing right now is just my studio. I'm just showing you stuff that I have in my studio because my studio is awesome and I love everything in it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's very lo-fi. Um, it's not scripted. I kind of won this off really quickly because I do get asked a lot on how I do my demos, like how do I do my green screen stuff? What kind of things did I buy to do it? So I just wanted to show you that you don't need to spend tons of cash to be able to make your you know, creativity into something tangible and into something that's worthwhile for other people to watch. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos maybe like this.